There we go. I'm hello, hello. I'm alive. <laughs> I've arrived. <laughs> Future man, researcher, artist, and part-time assistant bartender tonight. You can call yes. me Tiberius Vanderfield. And joining me tonight I am is... Sheppy Sheps, also an associate bartender at this uh, dump of a place. Um, but I, I love it here. I love, the, I, love, I love our clientele. Don't get me wrong, but it, smell, it constantly smells like piss. <laughs> yes. yes. So, tonight, <laughs> we are playing some VA11 Hall A Cyberpunk Bartender Action. Yes, we are. Oh, you're going, you gotta sleep, you gotta work tomorrow? I'll be like, okay, well, I'll, I'll enjoy, enjoy your, enjoy oh. your, um, enjoy your thing. Enjoy, enjoy the lurk. I that was... I should, uh, lurk on your stream also. Yes. Good idea. So, that music was from the Edge Runners OST, uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Really good anime. Really good anime. Go check it out. I figured it was appropriate since we're playing a cyberpunk game based game. So, uh, yeah. All right, hold on. I'm in logged out of Twitch on my other computer. And the uh, music is as brutal as the anime is brutal. Let me go ahead. Oh, my, uh, my Fugi is still uh, sp uh, uh, an inkling. <laughs> oh, no. It is. <laughs> it has been for uh, a while now. Oh no! I gotta change it. <laughs> they don't allow they don't allow kids that young to work in bars. Also, I don't I don't see your I don't see your thing. Let me fix that. I can fix that. Oh, I was gonna say, what 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 could I have possibly done that would remove it? Well, bam! There you are. Cool. Yeah, you have. I'm been... now visible in every dimension. You are visible in every dimension, yes. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, yeah. How are you All doing right. tonight, Cheppy Sheps? Yeah, work was a pain in the ass, but I'm going to take my frustration out on getting people drunk and hanging out with my friend. Mm. Mm. I'm already drinking. It's water. I'm not drinking. I'm actually drinking alcohol. I'm drinking, I'm drinking water. Taking hydrated. All right. Video games. <laughs> Vigima games. Vigima games. Oh, yes. we're running out of we're running out of uh, save space. Oh no, that happens. All right. So we paid we paid our electricity bill of eight thousand dollars. Yep. It sounds normal. It sounds normal. Completely normal. Uh, I mean, it sounds normal okay. when when like what was it? Like lunch is like a hundred or so. Was it? No, that seems a little <laughs> bit too high. Yeah. Something, something, it might have been 50 actually, or at least closer to oh. 50. Like, I think, I think a beer is like 80 bucks. <laughs> that like sounds that. accurate, roughly. Yeah. So, yes. Uh, so, your, your electricity bill costs uh, approximately 100 beers. Ah. Uh, amazing. Which is. Anyway. I guess I don't know what electricity rates are like in the whole country. And also, I don't know what beer rates are, now that I think about it. The beer exchange rate. Uh, the stock, the beer stock exchange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. We got some news. Uh, little and receiving. Uh, little and receiving mysterious message. Update by Lana Smithy. It looks like we were able to record and transcribe one of the messages sent from one of the comprised signals. Joe Wren, the anchor from our popular TV newscast, served as our very own test subject for the investigation. Who are you? Are you really alive? Oh, it's the TV. You are everything, TV. It's time to become one. Developing. <laughs> Interesting. I. Oh no! Is that? I don't think. I don't think Alice Rabbit would. Like we figured, we just discovered that Alice Rabbit is one of our. I mean, Jill doesn't know, but we know that mm -hmm. Alice Rabbit is Dramatic one irony. of our frequent. Yes, is one of our frequent patrons. So I don't think that I don't think she would be capable. Uh, would be doing harmful messages like that, stalking Lillian. Most likely, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Nanomachine rejection has taken 
80 lives this year. Oh no, I don't. Mm. Uh, I wonder if she's among those 80. Oh no. You want to read this one? Sure. The Health Observatory just uh, just released their annual re report on nanomachine rejection cases. The total number of reported cases has riven, risen to 80, an increase from the 65 cases reported last year. Nanomachine pollution was particularly strong this year due to the recent protests, wrote the observatory. Protests caused the police force to release new varieties of nanomachines. Their function is still unclear, but according to our sources, they're intended for crowd control purposes. It's unlikely we'll find a cure in the near future, and we can only hope cases like these will become rare in the following years. Yeah. Mm. Damn. Model Tragedy Warrior Julian. Sure. Yeah. It's unfortunate. I mean, it makes sense. Like, your body... You, you have something that your it doesn't belong to your body. Your body's going to try to fight it off. So, mm -hmm. makes sense. Uh, Model Warrior Julianne returns this February. A new anime, the classic magical girl show, Model Warrior Julianne, is coming back to public television this February after almost two decades of absence. Nice. Even though the show has been on every on-demand service for a while now, most of Glitch City citizens need to think twice before subscribing to any non-essential service, especially the lower classes who have a limited number of internet purchases per year. You have to purchase internet in, like, a la carte, I would assume that means purchases on the internet. Okay. I thought like, I mean, it would make like uh, purchasing like internet bandwidth a la carte. That would make sense in a dystopian future. You go down <laughs> to the corner store and you purchase a can of internet. Right. You pour it into uh, your computer. You get a 12 pack, 12 pack of internet you pour, you pour it right into it. <laughs> Uh, the show's return is certainly welcome. Today's parents will finally be able to share a piece of their childhood with the kids without risking dinner or breakfast. What does that mean? I would assume that means without ri without there being a risk of not being able to afford dinner or breakfast. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Is this a is that a tear in your eye? No. Fruit rat, you get get some good rest. I'm sorry your pa power's out, but. Mm. Yeah, is it like, is it really bad weather, like rain? Really bad rain? I heard it was bad up there, so stay safe. Yeah, the weather around uh, here has been such that uh, the internet was going out for a while. It stopped uh, yeah. stopped a couple hours ago, but uh, yeah, I know that there's been weather in the world. A very vague yeah. statement, but... <laughs> um... Let's go to work. Ready to go to work? All right. All right. Yeah, I, like everywhere is facing shitty weather. Uh, Hassy Zero? Hassy Zero. I think we've seen that advertisement is... before. What What is it supposed to taste like? It's supposed <laughs> to taste like Hassy Zero. I see. Okay. Good evening. Ah, hey, Jill. How are you feeling? I won't say good, but not that bad, I guess. That's nice to hear. Where's Gil? Did he run away again? Oh, I just realized I forgot to update the stream information. Nah, I have, um, I have him on air and duty, buying the drinks for tomorrow. That sounds weird, coming from the owner of a bar. Every drink from here would come out of our own funds. Hmm. So, if we're going to spend money, we might as well get at more variety. Besides, those kind of walks are always good for Gil. Third boss. Who's coming so far? Well, there's the three of us. The dogs. You invited in the hacker. Gil invited hmm. Jamie. Oh, yeah. I also invited Dorothy when I called her to spend the night with you. Oh, so all my friends are coming to the Christmas party. Mega Christmas party. Um, Sounds good so far. <laughs> I went to look at Can, the... Uh, hmm? I, I, I hope I hope Dorothy comes in a slutty, uh, a slutty <laughs> Christmas elf costume. <laughs> it would be so on brand. <laughs> oh, yes. What were you going to say? 
Yeah, I was gonna, gonna say it's a good thing that I decided to uh, to go and look at my my channel to see how many uh, how many parts of this uh, series we've been doing because I had the number wrong on the vod. Oh no, <laughs> no. So I've fixed two problems today. Nice, nice, nice. But yes. Anyway, invite anyone else you feel like inviting. The more, the merrier. I could, but I bet everyone's made plans by this point. Eh, that's true. I'll be in my office. Call me should anything arise. All right. Ready. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Wait here. I'll check inside. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, new people. Yeah. It's a... I think it's a Lilum, and uh, I guess it's a human. Presumably. I don't know... I don't know who's talking. <laughs> I'm assuming uh, the one to the left? Maybe. It's more... Yeah, I guess the sort of... That... What is that color? Is that sort of a pinkish color? That's like a... Like a... Like a salmon tannish, pink? Yeah, like a tannish brown. Hmm. Okay. I can't... Like I've said before, I'm partially colorblind, so I'm not sure. Oh, a BTC bar. Excuse me, do you know where the Athena Convention Center is? Why does that place make people get lost so easily? They should have called it the Minotaur Center. Mm. Hold on. Let me scribble the directions on paper. She didn't get the joke. It went right over her head. Unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Go to the right. When you see a building filled with hobos, this should be it. Thanks a lot. Anything else I can help with? Mm, yeah, what, what the hell? I'll have a drink. What about you? Hmm. A Brantini, please. Right. A brand teeny, of course. Of course. Oops. Oops. Going too say. fast. Yeah, I noticed the... Uh, all I noticed was the lack of uh, Adelheid. Yes, aged and mixed. All aged and mixed. But Lilum freaks you out. Oh. That's a little bit that's a little bit racy of a comment, don't you think? I would assume it's mostly her demeanor rather than I anything guess. else. I guess. Here you are. Thanks. Well, that's an interesting outfit in this cold season, miss. Well, I'm actually cosplaying, so. Call me Vela for the time. Other cosplayers. Mm. Ah. And your little friend is... Essentia. I get it. You're cosplaying too? Mm. Sure. Let's go with that. No. We don't, I don't want to talk about this game. This awful game. Mm. Why are they bringing this game up? Ooh, I don't want to talk know. about this. No, the, the, no. Are, are they promoting a another game? This awful game? Have you heard of a game called Yik Bartender? That cult classic game that's seen like three remastered versions by six different companies this year? Are you kidding me? Is this six a joke? Different companies. Is this a fucking joke? That game is awful. Interesting. It, interesting it, that it's been remade three times by six people. <laughs> Like or six groups, rather. Don't don't get me started. The game revolves about a mur a real life person's murder. Like you don't fucking do that. That's fucked mm. up. I wasn't like, aware of that. I was aware that the game was widely considered to be bad, but I I was not aware of that. Like the story revolves around a girl who uh, died mysteriously in an elevator. Mm. Um, n n still a cold case. They based the the asshole made a game based around that. Mm. It's I'm done. I'm done talking about it. 
did did Sukabon Games make this? That make Yik? I didn't think they did. What? I would assume not. I don't know for sure. I hope they're throwing shade at this game. Uh, I, I, ironic shade. <laughs> that cult classic game that has seen like three remastered versions made by six different companies. Okay. That one. We are in a cosplay group dedicated to it and we'll get lost in the way. I heard you talking to someone outside. Oh, yeah. A friend is cosplaying as Alex. I told him to wait outside. Shouldn't he enter? He'll be fine. Hmm. Something amiss? There's a girl behind you. Short hair, black sailor uniform, missing an arm. Wearing jeans under a skirt. I'm kind of freaked out. <laughs> I get what she's saying now. Now, now, don't spook the bartender. Spook? <clears throat> Anything else? I'll get a fluffy dream and be on my way. And you? I'm, I'm fine. fine. Oh, sorry. I spoke it for you. A no fluffy worries. dream. Fluffy dream. All Asian mixed. mixed. Yep. Lucky dream. Indeed. Here you go. Yep, this is the thing. Seriously though, shouldn't should you leave your friend outside like that? He'll be fine. He started chatting with one of the vending machines. They were talking about R and B music. Does your friend prefer the 1980s R&B or the 1970s? The 1980s, I think. Oh, shit. Boss! Diddy! R&B! I'm coming! Um, you see, Diddy is a 90s, 1970s purist. He has tased people for even liking that 1980s R&B before. He got tased! <laughs> and that's why you don't leave your oh. friends outside unattended oh god he'll be fine many machines have very weak tasers he'll be confused for a couple of minutes but that'll be that you should go check on him though alright thanks again for the directions please come again <sighs> At least it wasn't Franco-Belgian comic opinions this time. What? Is this a joke I'm missing? Black sailor uniform. I hope I'm just overthinking it. More importantly, though, jeans under a skirt? Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hey, Dorothy. Oh. oh. Our visitor is here again. Oh, hi, honey. Are you okay? I just kind of wandered in here. I guess I'm a bit distracted. Can no one just wander? Can I get you something? Oh, oh, uh, uh, sugar rush. Yeah, that. Right. What if this seems down? She asked for a sugar rush, but hasn't she told me about a drink that cheers her up? Shit. <laughs> Shit. Oh no! What is? Do you remember? I want to we say bleeding Jane, but that might just be because it was the most recent notable drink we've served her. Oh, bleeding Jane! What, what is a bleeding Jane? Bleeding. Uh, hmm. Bronson, I want to. I want to do it right. I really want to do it right. Yeah. Hmm. Does anyone know in chat? Or else I'm just going to look it up. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough.
This is this is like a memory game. <laughs> it is. I guess that's how I guess that's how you uh, increase the difficulty over time in a game like this, considering that there's no like reactions. There's no uh, you know puzzle or uh, well, I guess this I guess it is a puzzle game technically to a to a degree. It's just that the solutions to most of the puzzles are in the puzzle. Yeah. It just tells you what it what the what the solution is. Right. But uh not in this case. Hmm. Says she likes piano women. Well, piano woman. She mm. probably does like piano women, but uh, she wants a piano woman drink. <laughs> mm. Okay. Yeah, I think I so probably was that. just thinking Bleeding Jane because of the, the Bleeding Jane uh, discussion the other time she was here. Right. Hmm. You know how, uh... You know, one second. Gotcha. Ah, let's just give her a piano woman. Okay. Two powder, two powder delta. Three flanner guide. And three carmagen. All aged and mixed. Let's go. Here you go. This is... Didn't you say you liked having a piano woman whenever you felt like celebrating or were feeling down? I did? Wait, I did! You actually remembered such a thing! <laughs> she has hard eyes! Look, she has the hard eyes! <laughs> You're so sweet! I was half expecting her to say that she meant a literal piano woman. Glad I was wrong. Hey, I already made that joke! <laughs> I just made that joke. Amazing. <laughs> You've synchronized with Jill. Yes. <laughs> Hold on one second. I was having to say the little piano woman, glad I was wrong. <laughs> She's still dumbfounded. So much silence. By the way, uh, thanks for staying with me the other day. It turns out I really needed that. So, did you enjoy the soda? Oh, did you find that one out? Was it supposed to be a secret? No, but don't go around telling everyone about that. I did it because I was it was you who needed my help. But a hug night but a hug night is usually one of my most expensive services. It is? Really? Hey, I don't know if the client has body odor or something like that. Not to mention it limits the chances of getting any other client that night. Still, did it help? That's true. Very true. Yeah, it helped me cool down a lot. So, from what Dana told me, someone close to you died, right? Yeah. Do you want to know more about it? Do you want to tell me about it? I brought it up enough times already, I think. No problem, then. You were so sad and that all I needed to know. Sorry for the loss, though. I, I mean it. Thanks. Although I've wondered for a while, do you little really understand death? Sorta. Kinda. Our whole database is constantly being packed up with the collective source. Even if our bodies are destroyed, we can be deployed again with our personalities and memories intact. So our concept of mortality might be different. We do have a fear of death, though. But you do? We can't begin to understand the idea of not being redeployed. Mm. While we while we have built-in warnings, the mere idea of that nothingness is paralyzing. I guess there are a few go ahead. I guess if death is not something that will happen to you at the end of your life, but is something a failure state that should not happen theoretically ever, then it's probably more upsetting, actually. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, oh, I think that was the argument. I was gonna say. I, I, I didn't you, read it. Yeah, I think you forgot that uh, last dialogue. Uh, how do how do I 
I know it's a way to pull up. Oh. Uh oh. Oh god. I went too far. Okay. Um. Uh. There are warnings. a few. Uh, yeah. Yes, the one after. There are a few that don't mind it, but we do fear death, and we don't wish it on anyone. In fact, uh, there was the argument used for abolishing the whole three laws thing. He's, you seem quite knowledgeable about robot, robot history. Seeing what others have done to make sure I can't live like it I do helps me not take things for granted. Seriously, though, those laws were bullshit. Can't harm humans. Can't disobey humans unless it's about hurting them. And you can't protect yourself as long as it doesn't harm humans. Yeah, the three laws, the three laws of robotics are kind of flawed, so, as um, demonstrated, uh, as freaking demonstrated in uh, the movie I Robot. <laughs> not seen that movie. I must admit. You haven't seen it? Oh, I, you gotta do a movie night. I see approximately one movie every two to three years. Wow. <laughs> not even things that like pique your interest. Like, oh, that movie looks great, but I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I do not keep up with movies. The most the most I've watched, the most movies I've watched in a given span of time was when in college, when people would take me to movies. But now, now I do not uh, live nearby anyone who goes to movies regularly and invites me to movies regularly. Gotcha. I think I, t I think my game is a little bit loud, so I turned it down. Mm. Um, that's fine. I mean, you do you. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I, I think movies are great. Way, great way to pass time. And but the, I'm, I'm an artist, so I like helps me build an inspiration for my own art. You know? That's fair. I find it kind yeah. of hard to pay attention for one and a half to two uninterrupted hours. True, true, yeah. If you wanted to learn the the folly of the three uh, Isaac Asimov's three uh, laws of robotics, then that's a good movie to watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, sure, the first AIs were just helpers and tools. But how could those laws still apply to them after they achieved self-awareness? Uh, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Who in their right mind would ab abide only by rules inscribed in some old book? See, that ties into my lore, you know, as a roboticist. Like, I helped free, like, enslaved robots back in my home planet, but... Mm. Yeah, I just... When I, when I arrived here, I, I just learned about these three laws, and I thought they were super archaic. I am with Dorothy on this one like holy crap you haven't seen you haven't seen like brutality when it comes to like robot enslavement like i have mm. <laughs> i'm glad little i'm glad the little is free though super um super happy for them mm -hmm. if i remember correctly those were only the distilled versions of the laws some writer imagined over 100 years ago they were a re reduced version of all his ideas. However, many authors afterwards took to them like they were the very laws of physics or something. And like many other things, people distill and exaggerate what they need and use it to their full, uh, to their favor. Wow, you're a nerd. Look who's talking. <laughs> Let's change the subject a bit though. Mood's getting gloomy. Your apartment is very comfy, you know. It's a tad small, though. Sorry about that. And your cat is so cute. What was his name again? Four. Why four? I figured if he ever got lost, at least I wanted to be able to uh, be able to yell four. <laughs> it happened once. You'd be surprised how many golf players you'd run into. And every time you play with him, you can say it's four play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was also named after someone. Really? Who? A little kid that wanted to transcend. What? A movie character or something? Sure, let's go with that. Huh? Do you want anything else? 
Let's see if you know me that well. Give me something I'd like. Okay, then. What would Dorothy order? She would order a piano woman. Mm, Another piano I feel woman. Like, I was going to say, I feel like doing it twice in a row might not be what the what she's expecting. Uh, listen, I, I, I read it. I read it. That's the right thing to do. Shh, don't tell, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone! The power's back on by feeling bleh. Going to chug coffee and hope it passes me out. All right. You're the type that, uh, you're like me in that um, coffee and caffeine does the opposite effect. Yeah, it does the same to me. Coffee, uh, caffeine, it's not a stimulant. It's a depressant for me. I, I feel that completely. Yeah, I know that it can, depending on your brain chemistry, it can, like, sort of, uh, have that effect, yeah. I guess yeah. I guess that's basically just a restatement of what you just said, huh? Yes. <laughs> but yeah. What I what I mean to say is that I have I have also heard heard things to that effect, though I have not experienced that myself. Right. Here. Good, but that's cheating. You just served me this drink. Still right, isn't it? Yup. I told ya. <laughs> told me what? I thought you I you intuited this. You didn't read this anywhere. I uh, know. Yeah, exactly. I I knew this. I I I I, I, got, I gathered this in my head. I, I deducted it with my, I, my, with my, my, with my, with my hyper processor in my brain. Yes, that's yes, installed of course. directly into my brain. I deducted it with my with my amazing like processing power. Yes, makes sense. Makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> Let me see. All right. Yep. I still can't believe you actually remembered what I said about the piano woman. I love her. I love her. I love her excited expression. Mm -hmm. It is pretty <laughs> so, fun. It's, so, it's really cute. It's always good to keep note of what regulars like, you know. I've wondered for a while, though. Why do you keep coming back here? For you, of course, you cutie. You're coming again. Why else would I come if not to see you? You're one of the few people willing to hear me out. I always feel the curiosity. And you're cute. Talking to cute people is always nice. There's also the bar, where it's, where it's insulated from the noise of the city. It's really comfortable. And it's just a bit away from the street that I'm always at. A win-win situation. I see. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, rat. I Okay, rat, I'll do it. I will, I will do the thing. Give me one second. I gotta, yep. I gotta add, I gotta add a thing to my my model here. Gotcha. On a place I will not say. Mm -hmm. oh, for, for your viewers, your, for your viewers, it's going to be a mystery. You're going to have to find out. You're going to have to find out where I'm placing this on on my my, my own body. <laughs> Check oh, no, out Shepi Shep's own stream so that you can uncover big. the mystery. <laughs> There we go. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, Rat. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Oh, it was, uh, it was, it was, uh, <laughs> I thought it was Rat that, uh, redeemed that. It's actually Fishy. How you doing? Welcome in. Next time Welcome. on Dragon Ball, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. How you doing? Welcome in. Ah, uh, I see. We're just, uh, we're just me, uh, talking to anime girls and getting them drunk. How's your day? Uh, so listen, you both have the same. You both have the same color name, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I'm, I'm streaming. My brain, my brain doesn't work very well when I'm streaming. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me fix something here. Uh, okay, eyes, eyes. Okay, there we go. See. <clears throat> but how are you doing? Tell me. Uh, how are you doing today? One has eight characters, the other has 15. I, like I said, my brain doesn't do math. It can't even read letters. Uh, <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> pretty good. Uh, pretty good, though. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. I see. It was weird to see you down, though. Especially since you always... Uh, 
since you're always so, so lively. Well, I wasn't down, really. I was just thinking about a lot of things. Like what? Well, my mom, her guardian, asked me to go home on Monday for a bit. And as much as I'd love her, being with her is usually tiring. Guardian. That whole thing about someone taking care of a Lilim after they're deployed until they reach maturity, right? Yep. And I'm proud to say that I reached psycholo uh, psychological maturity in just one year. They nice. always try to keep a varied pool of volunteers to make the collective source grow faster. So what's wrong with your guardian? Well, she still treats me like a kid. The worst part is that sometimes I fear she might be see me as some sort of replacement for her dead daughter. Oh, mm. oh, yikes! Yikes! Uh, yikes! Uh, been com com committing shin impact. I have uh, I have broken my legs five times because I'm not smart. Are are you are are you just playing Genshin? Are you just com you're just playing Genshin Impact, aren't you? You're just making a you're just playing a joke on me, aren't you? <laughs> One hopes. <laughs> You're you're really you haven't broken your leg, right? Oh, you have broken your leg, but you're also playing Genshin Impact. Okay, mm. <laughs> gotcha. Sorry about your leg. Dying to fall damage. Yikes! Yikes! Breaking. That's how you broke your ship. Gotcha. Mm. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Um, I'm looking for a dead daughter. Huh? Dead daughter. I was deployed to her not long after she lost her daughter. A contrived coincidence, really. Even when I still was still developing self-awareness, I always feared that she might be using me as a replacement. She didn't, though. Or at least, not consciously. At times, she would just stop doing something or return a gift she's given me. If she felt like she was projecting too much of her daughter onto me. What irony that three years later, I'd make a living pretending to be someone else in the bedroom. How's that? Well, most of the time, my job involves role-playing. A daughter, a student, some helpless kid. It means I've gotten many clients looking exactly for that. But on the other hand, from a professional standpoint, I'd rather have them hire me because of me. Because of my character. Not because I'm the one that role plays as little girls. Uh, just trigger warning, everyone. Yeah. Like I said, this is a this is a game that deals with come some gross topics. <laughs> so be 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 forewarned. We this, probably we should preface the episodes or the streams with that maybe. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I have some sort of uh, notice on screen now that I think about it. Yeah. Hmm. Let me let me move your head down. Your block, your, your head's too big. I gotta I gotta move you down a little bit. There you go. Mm. There there you go. There you go. Uh, uh oh! Didn't break legs in real life. Only in Genshin. Oh. Okay. <laughs> You're just falling down from too high. I see. Maybe I need to exaggerate some action. Well, what's the problem with your guardian then? If you do that on a daily basis, why worry about it? Because I don't want to make her sad. Every time I visit her, I fear she might look at me and see her daughter. That, sin that seeing me makes her sad. At this point, I don't even care if she's projecting her daughter onto me. I just don't want to make her feel sad. Did you try talking to me? Uh, talking with her? This this music is not appropriate. It's definitely not the most uh, <laughs> the most tactful, perhaps. Yes. Uh, did you try talking with her? How so? Telling her just what you said to me. Clear up those fears. I mean, unless she's not the kind to want anyone opening up to her, that is. I never really thought about talking to her about that. It doesn't sound like something you just bring up, though. Keep it in mind, at least. Maybe she'll appreciate the gesture. I wouldn't know, though. I haven't met her. She's a really nice woman. 
The problem is mostly with me, I think. Well then, I'm taking my break. Oh, I I'll be leaving then. No, what I was trying to say is that I'm taking my break. You want to come? Really? If you don't mind talking on a chilly night in an alley behind the bar, that is. I've done worse in alleys. <laughs> Let's go. Boss, I'm taking my break. All right. Yay. Yay. It's now commercial time. It this is. stream was the stream was brought to you by uh Fiji drinking water. That's what I'm holding in my hand right now. I am not it's holding Fiji drinking water in my hand, but I am holding some water in my hand, and so incidentally, sip. Ah delicious. I am holding tap water in my hand. Tap water. Tap water. I wouldn't have said if you're if you're anywhere near Ohio, um topical topical thing, but uh this will date this VOD. But uh don't drink the tap water right now. <laughs> I'm not, not within an idea. Ohio's range of Ohio. Uh, you are think. you are several Ohio's lengths away from Ohio. Maybe not several, <laughs> but I'm not I'm not in Ohio. Is what I meant to say there. I so, just sort of phrased it oddly. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. All right. Give me one second. I have a bad sense of geography, so now I now that I think about it, I can't remember how far away I am from Ohio. <laughs> there's things. There's like there's like that there's like that uh, website that shows you the accurate size of things on a map. Like you'll just drag Florida on uh, onto different states, and it shows you the actual size of uh, uh, like this of Florida. Mm -hmm. Have you ever played with that? I don't think I've heard of that until today. Maybe we'll play with that after stream. I don't know. But uh oh, we're that gonna hang out with Yeah. You're you said you're gonna show me your Pokemon team at some point. You wanna do that after uh after the day's over? Sure, sure. Okay, we'll do that after stream's over. Okay. Let's go. We're hanging out with we're hanging out with Dorothy. Hanging out with Dorothy. The other booba? I mean the other place that you placed the eye on? Oh, I didn't say booba. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yes. Incidentally, <laughs> I have just confirmed that I am greater than the distance of Ohio away from Ohio. Okay, good. That's very non specific. You can be in any direction. I could be. <laughs> you could be. You're I could at least be in the one Great Lakes. Ohio. Yeah, you could be living in the Great Lakes in a underwater lab. <laughs> I will confirm that I am not living underwater in the Great Lakes. Okay. But I won't be more specific than that. Gotta make them the same size. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you only saw my stream right now. I like... see your stream right now. I have it on my, oh. my other monitor. Oh, good. <laughs> but yes, I am I'm humiliating myself. For for the content, <laughs> as one does. <laughs> what one? Are you really offering a a little girl a cigarette? Now you're now you're a little girl. I always am. Innocence, however, is another matter entirely. But anyway, thanks. No smoking this seriously messes with my air filters, and they're a hassle to replace. Don't mind me, though. Smoke to your heart's content. Thanks. So, why don't you tell me about this guardian of yours? I want to know what kind of woman she is. Sure. Well, her name is Sophia Green. Uh, Graham? Graham? Sophia Graham. Graham? Graham? Sophia Graham. I want to say Graham. Graham? She's a retired uh, PE teacher. Nowadays, she works as a uh, at a gym during the morning shift. She's pretty fit, if I do say so myself. She's had a daughter. Apparently, she suffered from nanomachine rejection all of her life. And when she finally healed, she was hit by a truck. Mm. Um, um, what was her daughter's name? I don't know. I never asked, really. 
Are you okay? I'm reading fear. Or is that surprise? It's hard to tell. Oh no. Oh no, mm -hmm. it's uh is my is my ex girlfriend. Uh the Ooh, oh no. We're talking to feel like... the hand Oh no. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, I feel like that's the implication here. Yeah. I'm feeling fe I'm reading fear. Or is that surprise? It's hard to tell. I'm fine. Wait, read? Well, I don't see emotions like you do. I have to make do with a combination of body heat readings, facial recognition, and context. I'm still a bit confused about some, but I've gotten better with time. Anyway, you sure you're fine? Yeah, yeah. Scared or surprised? She's not wrong, though. Wait. Does that mean your last name isn't really Hayes? Hayes is just my artistic name. It sounds more exotic, and that's what people usually look for in this business. I tried other names, though. Dolores Hayes. Genesis uh, Genesis Graham. I tried Dorothy Warrior once, but a legal team come out of nowhere and stopped me cold. <laughs> so, what's your legal name, then? Rebecca Dorothy Willow Graham. A bit of a mouthful, if you ask me. So, Dorothy is actually your second name. Shouldn't I call you something like Becky, then? People have always called me Dorothy rather than Be Rebecca for some reason. That's why I chose it. It's useful, too. People have tried to falsify stuff using my name, and they've always gotten caught. Because they use Dorothy Hayes as their name. Yep. Only my mom, her guardian, calls me Rebecca. So it's weird to hear it from others. What about Lillo? Lillo's my first surname, actually. When I got registered, my guardian was married to a guy who had Lillo as a last name. Shortly after I joined their household, they separated. So I was left with his family name first. Hold on, hold on. So your real name, in short, would be Rebecca Willow. Must have the same pizzazz to me to it, if you ask me. Whatever you say, Becky. Stop it. It'd be like if I called you Julianne all of a sudden. <laughs> wow, that was anger I read now. Lots of anger. I think it's weird enough already if you call me Jill and stuff, honey. Weird, huh? How can you end up feeling associated with a name that's not yours? I have an uncle who that's always called me Tina. He kept calling my, co uh, calling my cousin Tina Jill for some reason. Neither of us minded, though, because he's calling us what he thinks we're called instead of mixing us up. That, and it's completely useless to try to correct him. But, you know... Maybe that effect is true if you're your clients, too. How so? Well, you're worried about your clients not hiring you because you're, you're, you're you, right? But think about what happens when it's announced by uh, that a character will be played by a different actor. Sure, it's a character, but people are always going to, for the actor playing the character. So you're saying that they go for my roleplay instead of just mere roleplay? Sounds too far-fetched. Sounds plausible, actually. Okay, honey. I'll take my leave now. Don't want to take up all of your break. Thanks for the chat. See you at the party tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to say it like that, but bye. <laughs> I, I, need, I need to remember to buy more cigars. Bup, 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 bup. Let's go. Jukebox. Back. Did I miss any, Did I miss something? Unless you count the worst PPV main event fight I've seen all year. Not really. No. Uh, oof. I would want my money back if that happened. All right. I'm going out. I'll have a word with Gogo -Go outside. He was so hyped for that match. He must be devastated. Okay. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hey, say. Hey. Hey. Good evening, Jill. 
How are you doing? The nightmares have stopped, so I'm sleeping better. This is a good day. We're seeing people we like. Yeah. <laughs> we should invite Say to the party. Yeah, seriously. Um, how about your injuries? My bones are healing nicely. My wounds finally close. Scars edge a bit, though. Well, that's good to hear. Are you by yourself today? Yeah, I'm running a couple of errands by myself today. I don't want to come here for a while. Also noticed the big guy from last time is outside. Buster? Stella doesn't want me being alone while I'm still healing, so she suggested taking him with me. Ah, I see. What can I get you? Something cold. Sure. Uh, cold? Cold. So, with, with ice, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming, yeah. Because, yeah, I think we've been asked for a similar... Similar criteria before. Didn't she order the Piano Man last time? Maybe? All on the rocks. Rocks and next. So that works. I feel like she usually likes sweet drinks, if I remember correctly, though. Sour prom. Yeah, you might be right. Let me see. Sweet drinks. Sparkle Star. Blue Fairy. All aged. Moonblast. All on the rocks. That okay, let's do a moon. Yeah, let's do a moonblast. Outer Delta. Planner Guide. Two Karmachin. All on the rocks and blended. Yep. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Let's do it. I think you like this one. Really? Oh, you go ahead. All right. Really? <laughs> so sweet of you. Thanks. Oh, I guess that was Same. the right thing. I feel like I've, I feel like I've sort of lost my save voice. Oh no. So Stella isn't with you today. She's throwing a mega Christmas party tomorrow and is having a meeting today. I'm just helping her by checking on some of the things she ordered. And here I was, all ready to invite you to the party we're throwing tomorrow. You're throwing a party too? Sorry about that. Can't really say no to Stella. Maybe next time? There is a next time at all. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Uh, I want you to know that I want you to have a good time. Have fun. Drink a couple of beers in our honor. <laughs> I will then. What are Stella's Christmas parties like? They're really big. There's lots of food and drinks and music. Sometimes there's too much food, though. So, at the end of the party, she lets the staff take home whatever's left. She also buys, buys toys for all the children of her staff members. She says something about taxes or whatever, but during the whole thing, she just shines. She carries a beaming smile that I don't see any other day of the year. Many of the kids have even started calling her Auntie Ella. Auntie Ella? <laughs> Stella always does her best to put up a tough girl facade, but she's very much in touch with her inner child. Christmas, Easter, Halloween, name a party, and she mostly likely celebrates it big. Interesting. Sit. You like parties, Jill? I don't mind them. They're a good place for, to see people. I'm not one to actively look for parties to attend, though. I just don't mind going to them. Ah, I see. I only go to parties that Stella is attending, because otherwise I just stand there without anything to say. That, and I'm not one to wear dresses, you know? You're not? I'm a tad too ripped. They don't look cute on me. Oh, don't s no, 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 not allowed to say that. You are 
you are beautiful. You are a beautiful woman. You can you can rock dresses. Although with all this healing I have to do, I won't be as fit for a while. They're too um, breezy too. I feel like I'm wearing nothing. Uh I am not moving I'm not moving the cursor right. I don't hmm. know if it's a problem with my mouse or yeah. the game is fucking with me. Huh. I don't know if it's something wrong with my mouse. Oh my god. Is this is the game is the game playing a trick on me? I think it is. This is a this is a trick the game is playing on me. Interesting. I am not moving the mouse right now. But I bet what is you going on? Address Jill. What the fuck is going on? Computer's haunted. It's been here since I last wore one. I wouldn't know. Stop moving right. Last time I wore one, I remember wearing, wear, wearing my arms were too thin or something like that. I, I want to see if it's a problem with my computer. Uh, hmm. Hold on, give me one. Give me one second. I'm That's actually freaked out problem. right now. Okay. I, okay. Let me. Sit. No, my mouse is fine. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> it's it's the game fucking with me. It really is. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. What is going on with my mouse? Uh, you're still on standby on my screen. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm back. We all have a complex, huh? I mean, even Stella has her own. That's hard to imagine. Oh, but she does have one. Distress she distresses a lot about, about her bus size. <laughs> really? She's not that small. I think I'm smaller than her, in fact. Actually, it's the opposite. It's the opposite kind of complex, I mean. She's a bit self-conscious about ha having a big statue of herself, Car. <laughs> really? Again, I've seen bigger chests than her, to be honest. Although, I guess comparisons are useless here. They really help with... They rarely help with complexes. I suppose that wasn't a terribly unreasonable thing for me to say, but I, I did... I just really wanted to make that joke, to be honest. Yes! <laughs> Honestly, that's half of, half of the reason why I go to such lengths to come up with uh, euphemisms rather than just omitting things. Is because I want to see how far I can take the joke. <laughs> but anyway. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still getting freaked out. The cursor is moving by itself. <laughs> Game's haunted. Oh, well. I, I, guess, I guess so. Well, she does go the extra mile to hide it. In fact, I have no idea how she does it. I mean, I've seen her before and after she tucks them away, but I guess I never cared enough to ask the specifics. That's also why when she goes out, she styles her hair in those, uh... Drills? They look a bit drilly, don't they? She styles her hair like that to help divert attention away from her chest. She seems so fluent enough. Why not go through a reduction surgery? Because she, kind of, she also kind of likes having that size. Takes her bus size after her mom, and Miss Carmine is quite proud of her chest. <laughs> Buffing out your chest is a sign of confidence, and a bigger chest means more confidence to show. <laughs> she says something along those lines a lot. Stella has quite the admiration for her mom, so I guess breast reduction would feel like betraying her? Huh. I'm making it sound like she's hiding... she's hiding... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. He's hiding J cups or something like that. <laughs> I guess in a taller, thicker person, her size would be normal. She's just a bit shorter or thinner than the norm. Do you get self conscious about your bus size, Jill? Not really. I've been more self conscious about my height. Although it usually comes up whenever not being, whenever not being average height hinders me somehow. What about you? 
Yes and no. On my bus side, but rather that I look too manly sometimes. I can't help but wonder if bigger boobs would help with that. You're fine, don't worry. Thank you. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. You have something non alcoholic? I do. Give me one second. You want to give her water? No. I want to <laughs> give her something with flavor. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Touch. Okay. Well, it's an extract. This has no carbonation in it. Spicy classic sobering. Uh, mm. Uh, let uh, me, you have let another me request, Sheps? Oh, on the forehead. On the forehead. Okay. Uh, that works for me. I'm okay with this. <laughs> it's not as humiliating. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, let me see. Google. I. Over the weekend, I'm going to add more stuff to the stream. I'm going to mm -hmm. add some. More googly eyes? Add, no, uh, like more. I'm gonna add, like my. I'm gonna finally get my soundboard up, up and running again. Mm. So, uh, can't wait for that. Uh, going to add some more redeems. So th that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun night. I should come up yeah. with a redeem at some point, shouldn't I? Yeah. Okay, Sparkle Star uh, is two Auto Hide, one Powder Delta with optional Carmitrin. It's sweet, girly, happy. Yep. No ice. All aged. Um, I don't like my mouse is moving. It's screwing with me. Uh, powdered mm. Delta. This is a small drink. A little bit. Sparkle Star. Here. Thanks. You're not one to drink that much alcohol, are you? It makes me feel sleepy, or at the very least makes my legs go numb. It's an annoying feeling, to be honest. It makes me wonder what's so good about getting drunk. I mean, I'm not above it, but it's not exactly a pleasant feeling. You feel like you're sleepy even when you're not. Your legs go numb, everything starts sounding funnier than it really is. What's so good about not being able to control yourself? That's a good question, actually. Usually people like feeling numb because that numbness helps them forget their problems. Even when we don't talk about alcohol, there's a portion of people that can't afford food. Or who are suffering from some pain that only alleviates when drunk or high. Doesn't sound really logical on paper, but then again, humans are rarely, if ever, logical creatures. Despair and pain cloud your judgment. They make you do stupid things sometimes. Hmm. Yeah, I've seen that firsthand. This world has an ugly side no one deserves to be a part of. <clears throat> There's also a matter of addiction, you know? You start just liking the drink, but then you need more of it. And before you know it, you're hooked. Oh, yeah, that too. So tell me, what kind of party are you guys throwing? Nothing fancy. It would just be me, boss, skill, and a couple of regulars. Don't bring food. We'll chat for a while, and that's it. Man, that sounds so good. At least better than the whole planning madness Stella is throwing right now. If you ever throw something like that again, let me know, you hear? Sure. Hey, say. Yeah? What do you plan on doing now? I'm going to check one last errand before going home. No, I mean... What do you plan on... Oh! That makes me whole. What do you do? I do? That seems to make me of you. That seems to make my soul. That seems to make me whole. 
Thank you. Thank you for this the This is reading. funny on your stream, but it's even funnier on mine, I think, just due to the fact that this came completely out of nowhere. <laughs> it's just out of nowhere completely. Thank you for the reading. It's a banger song. It really is. <laughs> I feel like the, the auto-scrolling right now is getting faster. Or maybe it's just me. I don't... It doesn't seem like it's any faster to me. I nothing that's nothing that's on my keyboard. My mouse is completely still. And Dude. when I tabbed out, <laughs> it's fine. Hmm. What is going on? Do you Do mm, you have like a controller plugged in or something, maybe? Damn it! It was the controller. I thought I was getting uh -huh. hacked by I thought I was getting hacked by a freaking Alice Rabbit or something. All right, mystery <laughs> solved. Another one in the books for the future man. Damn it, thank you. Third boob? Where's my third boob? Do I have a third boob? I just thought of a weird VTuber idea, but I'll keep it to myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me see. Uh uh, let me see. Uh, third boob. Uh, hey, hey, Tiberius. Yeah? Uh, wh where's the third boob? Can you help me? I need an adult. <laughs> me? <laughs> uh, perhaps something similar to Utsuho Toho, if you're familiar with that particular Toho character. No. <laughs> I'm just going to put it in the middle of my chest. Fair enough. I mean, that's <laughs> approximately what I was suggesting. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now I look like that mutated fish from Simpsons. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, I mean, what do you do, plan to do now with the White Knights disbanded and all? To be honest, I don't know. I never prepared a plan B because I figured I go with plan B. Or if you can go with plan B, why not just make it the plan A? I'm not the brightest person, so I never graduated from college or even high school. I could go for a position with the police, but it wouldn't be as thrilling. And I'm tired of blatant corruption sick of it. Oh. But, I'm alive. Mm -hmm. I learned something after that at that hell in Apollo Trust. You just noticed my model's belly button? Yeah! Yeah! Uh, if I could lift my shirt any higher without making t Twitch mad, you could see my abs. <laughs> I learned something all about the hell and apology. Okay, gotcha. Life is not something you can just throw away easily. Falling my way out of that place made me realize just how much I want to be alive. The body count left in the bank was ridiculous, but I'm still here. I don't know what I'll do, but I'm alive. I'll figure it out sooner or later. That's nice to know. Well, I gotta go. Bye, Jill. Good luck with the party. Please come again. You're, you're like the second... Like, you're my, like one of my favorite people. Please don't leave. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hi, Mr. Detective. Oh. It's... Hey! Ah, hey! Hey there, girl! Give me a strong drink, won't ya? Alright. Alright, George, I'll get you... I'll get you a drink, George. Or <laughs> in the uh, in the uh, Watch Me Forever stream, he's called Fred. I don't know if mm. you're are you are you familiar with the Watch Me Forever channel on Twitch? <laughs> I've you showed it to me last time at the end of the last one. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's fucking George Costanza. <laughs> Uh, okay, what well, must something manly? Manly? I think manly? that would be under type. Oh, oh, sorry, type. 
Manly drinks. Strong and manly. Uh, strong and manly. Strong and manly. I feel like it's been a long time since we served anyone a crevice spike. That sounds like that sounds like fun. Let's see if that works. Uh, no. It does not. No. It is the opposite of strong, in fact. Yeah. yeah. Type again. Oh, yeah. Manly pile driver. Bitter manly burning. No. That'll work. Oh. Oh, no. Right. Strong. It has to be strong. Right. right Suplex. Right. Bitter manly burning. Spicy manly strong. Okay. There we this go. This is the one. I'm the strong for Mr. Detective. Uh, Powder Delta, uh, Planner Guy, and uh, two Carmichael. All blended. So that six, one, four, two, all blended, all blended. Yep. All right. Mars Blast. There you go. Yes, this will do. So what brought you here? Nothing special. I was just working on a case, and it happened to be in the area! What kind of work? Tracking someone. A gun for hire. What about the girl? Crimson something? I'm tracking that girl! I'm cra tracking that girl! Gary, I'm tracking the girl! Okay. Tum, tummy, this is Googly Night. I'm just gonna call it Googly Night. Should have a stream where everyone just puts stuff on my model. That's that's the that's the entire content. <laughs> I'll just be a googly googly monster. No, I don't want to turn on sticky keys. Uh oh. I got I got to turn off that shortcut. One of the very first things I do on any any new computer I use is turn that off. <laughs> I'm tracking that girl, Terry. Don't you just get out of that... Didn't you just get out of that job? I did, after the guy offered a huge amount of money! And, well, I just couldn't refuse again. Well, it's your life, not mine. I wonder, though. There has to be more to that whole thing than just acting as middleman to look for some murderer. Hmm. Say, how safe is this place? We're protected by the BTC property laws. The walls are soundproof. And I really couldn't give less of a shit about selling info to anyone. Okay, then. Wait. Soundproof walls? Why? Did you see those vending machines outside? They're quite talkative, the bastards. It'd be annoying without uh, the walls. Without those walls. I um, argumented it, your too. Key <laughs> your keys are always sticky. I see what, what you look at. No, no, you haven't. No, 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 you haven't. You haven't seen anything. What are you talking about? What have you seen? Tell me. Tell me what you have seen. I demand it. I demand. I demand. I demand it. Tell me what you have seen. I'll, I'll get. I'll get very angry. I'll get very, very angry if you reveal my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of the Lord Lance Lavender? Uh, nope. He's some big name for Connie Avania. Are... That's not a real... No. I refuse to believe this is part of this game's lore. Apparently it is. <laughs> You've seen enough? You clearly haven't. <laughs> Kanye Vania. The, the guy's an asshole. This game is dated. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, I hope, I hope in future revisions of this game that his name gets removed from this shit. His blood apparently has some weird reaction to Glitch City's nano machine. Once in contract with the air, it does nothing, but it's still fresh and touching someone's blood. The nano machines will initiate a reaction. Essentially, they're just, they'll just eat through the other person's body until there's nothing left. They're just using him as a guinea pig, Jerry, to see what causes that reaction, and if it could be used to fight nano machine rejection. I feel like uh, something that causes people to uh, dissolve is maybe not the most effective at preventing rejection. 
<laughs> it, 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 will, it will prevent it, all right, by I mean, making it never happen, because you're dead. <laughs> I guess at that point, the nano machines are just rejecting you, though, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> but yeah, if it if it turns you to, into a soup, it, de it technically did the job right because you'll never you'll never have uh, you'll never have a, a nano machine rejection ever again because you'll be dead. Well, turns out the Crimson Rose is his daughter. She left years ago to earn her living here. She hasn't seen her ever since. He could be lying, you know. And a few has to have to go because of sad reason. Okay, I'm sorry that it's a sad reason. Oh, I'm really sorry pick. about that. Uh, sorry oh, for pick. talking over you there. Yes, hello, Pick. You're fine. Pick, yes. how are, are you? Enjoying Valhalla. Yes, 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 yes. Pick says yes, hi, yes, chefs. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, hi. Hi, Pick. Oh, no, I got I, 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 uh, I got scared for a little bit there, but... Uh, good, good attempt. Someone redeemed the sound. Mm -hmm. uh, he could be, he could be lying. You know. Uh, doubt it. I did my research. She really is his daughter. Why didn't you figure that out earlier? I have no clue. What I was making the contract and tracking all the messages. The source would have been too costly. No one knew who the sender is. It was make things easier. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. What about Cobalt Velvet? Okay. Cobalt Velvet. Uh, Cobalt Velvet. Yeah, how are you doing Where? tonight, Pick? Yeah. How are things over there in Pickland? All the rocks are mixed. Rocks and mixed. Oh, it's the neat looking, it's a neat looking, uh, tilted <clears throat> glass thing. Sit. Here you are. Oh, you actually did it. Were you expecting me to mess up or so you didn't have to pay? No. So what made you accept the contract anyway? He told me he wanted to see her again one last time or at the very least deliver her a message. He could have been lying. Yes, people lie. You made your point. Even then, I felt like I couldn't say no. I mean, I know what it's like not to be able to find your daughter. What it's like to be apart from her. Not knowing what she'll do, what she's doing, or even if she's alright. You do? I have a daughter. She's about your age. She was a... Wow, George, George has a daughter? Wow. Apparently. <laughs> When she was a teen, we had a big fight and she ran away from home. At first, I just wanted, just waited for her to show up. But then I started getting worried and went out to find her. I couldn't find any trace of her. Nobody has seen her. Soon, I was worried if something might have happened to her. <laughs> this must be the Nothing Forever timeline, yes. Where uh, Fred is a millionaire and... Uh, <laughs> Is is going to that new restaurant that's serving fusion Chinese? Mm. You know the one. <laughs> yes, also, Pick says doing good, winding down, and heading to bed soon. Just lurking for a short bit. Ah, oh, it's good to hear. Good to hear. Do you know they're opening up a new restaurant down the street? <laughs> oh my god, that's like. Uh, if you've ever seen um, Forever, uh, Watch Me Forever, that's basically every every other skit that generates on it is. Have you been to the new? Have you seen that new restaurant that that <laughs> that showed up? That was mm. built. <laughs> what what did the fish say when it uh, when it hit the wall? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Gets me every time. Oh my gosh! I, I, for uh, no one's gonna understand what we're talking about. This is like an inside joke. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tiberius. For more context. 
<laughs> For more context, see, uh, what's it called? Watch Me Forever? Watch Me Forever once it gets unbanned. It'll be unbanned tomorrow, I think. Hmm. Yeah, it got banned because it, um, it, it switched... It switched to an AI model that wasn't tested enough, and it said some pretty shitty things. Mm. So, um, yeah. I mean, it takes data from the World Wide Web, and uh, people from the World Wide Web are assholes. Mm. So, um, can't really blame them, but they really should have they really should have tested it more before they, they implemented it. Mm. They vowed to never use that AI model again since it would use data from 4chan. Of course. Of course. Ugh. I couldn't even find any trace for no one had seen her, so I was worried something might have happened to her. I guess that's how my tracking skill, uh, how my tracking skills and list of contracts began to grow. Mm. I finally found her, taking cover in some dumpster, unconscious from starvation. So yeah, I just couldn't say no to his request of finding his daughter. But I don't, ex I don't expect you to understand. Jeez, what if I had a daughter? Sumptuous much? So, how's the research going? I'm very close to finding her. That girl's pretty good at covering her tracks, Jerry. Compared to the uh, compared to the her from before that bank accident, though, she seems slower somehow. Either she's let her guard down, or something else is happening. Well, what will you do when you find her? I'll have this letter I'm supposed to deliver to her. I don't know what it says, and I don't want to find out. What if she tries to kill you? I might not look like it, but I can take care of myself, bartender. You don't say it so long in this business without picking up a couple of tricks. I guess you're right. Okay, I get her to go back to work before her trail gets cold. Please come again. Are you done? Yeah. Okay, then. I want you here tomorrow at 8 p.m. No working beforehand. The bar will be closed tomorrow. Come dressed in your absolute best. We're having a party, after all. All right. Where's Gil, by the way? He stored all of our things in his home because of how close it was to the stores. So I told him to go home already and bring the stuff tomorrow. I see. Well, see you tomorrow, boss. Hold on. Wait a bit and I'll go with you. Oh, sure. Thanks. Pa 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 Another follow this... service day. Yeah. I know this small party is what you need. Yeah. Like, a single day's worth of money is $1,776. That's pretty fucking good, but, like, inflation sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Merry Mega Christmas. Let's celebrate Santa's resurrection. That's the Mega Santa that saved Christmas from the Redmonds. What? <laughs> <laughs> interesting lore interesting lore indeed and we found out that Kanye West has his own like like nation maybe his own nation something like that something what <laughs> anyway that's that's that day let's so let's save indeed it is oh there's lots to read okay um News. News. All right. Let's, let's call it a day. That was Indeed. good work. Yeah. A fine day. Uh, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't as dramatic as the last two days, but still. That's good um, sometimes. It's, yeah, it's <clears> good <throat> to see people that you we enjoy seeing, like Dorothy and uh, Dorothy and Say. Mm hmm Yeah. Um... Do you want to see my Pokemon team? Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do that before we end stream. All right. Uh, All right. I'm going to be our back screen. So uh, I'm going to exit the game. I did save the game, right? Yes, you did. I, I, okay. I can confirm that you did. Okay. All right. Uh, you go away, uh, Pokemon Showdown. 
Okay, let's put on some music. Oh, that's 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 Boodle Stream. I have that running for some reason. Here we go. Um, po relaxing Pokemon music. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Da, ba, da. All right. All right. Da, 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 da. Just like a dance. I, I wish my I wish my model was more bouncy. It's not. It's mm. very stiff. I'm doing a little Do dance. Some more stretches <laughs> then. Oh yeah, I gotta stretch those, those muscles. Muscles. Ah. Okay. So I have two team concepts. Mm -hmm. This is the first one I came up with. So it's. Let me zoom in. Let me do a zoom in real quick. Uh, go to game time real quick, and then zoom in. Um, there we go. So, I got Sheppy. Uh, so the for those who don't know, this is uh, this is going to be a VTuber tournament. Uh, this is uh, this is a VTuber tournament, and I made a team based on my theme. And uh, the theme is me, the VTuber, Sheppy. And um, so the first Pokemon that I have, let me move you down a little bit, because you you are in the way, unfortunately. Magic. There we go. There you go. Uh, take your time, because I named it after myself, um, because I like the bonk things. I like big hammers and ca uh, character. Uh, I like I like video game characters with big hammers. Um, if there's a choice between weapons, I'd usually go with the hammer. So very on brand for me. So I can't mm -hmm. I can't go without I can't go without using Sheppy uh, uh, Tinkasan uh, because she also makes she uses parts from other she uses steel parts from other Pokemon. She puts makes it into a hammer. How badass is that? She's a menace to society. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Glamora. Which is should be named the portal. So I come from a different world. Um, I come from a different world, and if you look at if you look at this Pokemon from the front and it spins, it looks like a portal. Mm -hmm. that, that that's that's a good reason, right? That's a reason enough to have Fair this enough. Pokemon on my team. Hoopa uh, makes portals, doesn't it? Huh? Hoopa. Who? Hoopa. Hoopa. Yeah, Hoopa. Hoopa does make portals. Hoopa does make portals, but I, I, I don't create them. I was thrown into a portal. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, without my consent, without wanting to go in. So, so this is part of my lore. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, there's portal. Uh, there's my robot arm. I'm going to call it robot arm. Not mm -hmm. in the room anymore. Uh, obviously, I have an engine block on my arm because I'm insane. Mm -hmm. uh, muscle, uh, uh, my muscles because I am I am ripped. Mm -hmm. um, sparks. It's very funny sparks. to hear you say that when you are an inkling on my screen. <laughs> the strongest yeah. inkling known to man. I need I need another I need another. Uh, I think I'll draw myself a, a, a reactive, a, like a gremlin reactive, like a really grunkly gremlin reactive. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Sparks, because Sparks, you know, mm -hmm. the robot. And Revolution is uh, the robot level revolution, because I'm leading a robot revolution. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's my team. The other nice. team, the other team is more, more accurate to my theme. Now, I don't think I'm going to do well in the tournament with this team. But that's why I want to try using the other teams since it's still thematic. Mm -hmm. But this is more true to my this is more true to my theme. Mm -hmm. So, again, I still have Sh I still have Sh uh, Sheppy. Um pile of junk, which is a which is a cog um which also represents my my logo for my stream. Mm -hmm. 
robot arm. Uh, so it's a steel, it's a steel appendage looking thing, I guess. Um, it, I was told in the stream that this would better represent my arm. I, mm -hmm. I sort of see it. I sort of see it, but then again, having a Pokemon with a, a mega, a mega stone would be really, really helpful. Mm. And plus, um, in order to um, in order to use the ability Sand Force, I need a I need a way Air to Force? put. Uh, well, no, when when um, Steelix turns to me Mega Steelix, and its ability changes to Sand Force. Is it called Sand and, Force? Yeah, it's Sand it's Sand Force. Um, let me see. All right, if we go to Smogon, Mega Steelix. Mega Steelix. Hmm. Sandforce. I'd never heard of the name or the ability Sandforce before. Yep. It's uh, all the all the attacks do an additional uh, one point three damage in a sandstorm. Hmm. Yeah. Cause yeah, I thought I thought. Yeah, I guess I just thought uh, I was thinking of Sandstream. Yeah. And I was thinking, did they did they did I did did the name change? Am I misremembering it? Yeah. And I have Hippodon because I live in a desert. And mm -hmm. this is the one, this is the Pokemon that causes the sandstorm mm -hmm. with the sandstream ability. Yes. So, yeah, those are my two teams. Nice. Yeah. If you want, you can, you can come in and uh, compete if you want. If you're interested. Maybe. Ugh. I'm trying to think, what sort of Pokemon would I go for? Um, there's a part of me that wants to say Yamask, but uh, I don't think that would be super <laughs> tremendously uh, optimal. Let me see. What are timey wimey uh, Pokemon? Uh, I mean, Future? there's Selby and there's Dialga. Selby is, Selby is the time travel Pokemon. Let me see. If I, I want to see if they're legal in national decks. Uh, the format is National Dex Singles. Mm. So, if the Pokemon is not in the list, then you can't use it. Celebi is in the list. You can use Celebi if you want. Me. Yeah. Got Celebi. Uh, Yamask, you said? Yeah. Probably I wouldn't actually use Yamask because it's not fully evolved, but... Yeah. Mask. Ah, Fruit Rat says Celebi is legendary. That's banned. Well, so no sell for me. I don't don't think so. I don't think that's the case. Mogon National Dex. It might be that Fruit Rat is saying that Celebi is banned from the or not Celebi specifically, I guess, but uh, legendary Pokemon are banned from this specific tournament, perhaps. Nope, that's not true. Hmm. Uh, Landorus is legal. Um. Uh, Zygarde. Zygarde 10% is legal. Mm. Um, uh, there's a lot of legendary Pokemon you're still allowed to use. These are the Pokemon that you're not allowed to use right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can use Celebi. You can use Mew if you wanted to. Mew mm -hmm. is legal. Mewtwo is banned, but Mew is legal. National, it's not, it's not video game, it's not the video game uh, rule set. It's, it's an independent rule set away from Nintendo's rule set. So, things that normally would be banned in video, uh, in the video game tournaments are not banned in national decks. So, let's give them some basic moves like, uh, hmm. uh, I don't know. Just so we can verify to see if it's uh, legal or not. I'm I'm just I'm just making random choices here. Mm -hmm. That's a terrible that's a terrible set. Definitely not Validate. spectacular. All right, we're your valid. Your team is val Your team is valid for national decks. It's a it's legal Pokemon, rat. You can out, you have Mew. Mew is not banned. Landorus, Landorus, Heatran, 
Hoopa? Hoopa's not banned. You can use Hoopa. There's someone in the tournament that's using Hoopa right now. So, if you want to make changes to your team, Fruit Rat, go ahead. If you didn't know that, you should probably take advantage of that. Uh, so you said Celebi. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Um, Dialga. Dialga is the time, the, the god of time, right? Unfortunately, uh, yes, but you it is illegal. It is illegal. So unfortunate. Hmm. I don't think this is something I'd have to think about a little bit more, but I guess, I don't know. I, think, I guess it, uh, I don't know how much time you got. Eh. I don't know. My circus team is perfect, and I don't think there are any good legendaries that fit my theme. That makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I was kind of trying to, I've been trying to avoid spoilers on them, but I feel like there's, I know that there's, you know, the Paradox Pokemon. Oh, yeah. The Pokemon from the future. Mm -hmm. So, um, perfect Pokemon for you. <laughs> yeah, I could you can just make a team, yeah, use you any of them, really. Make a team, make a team based uh, uh, just full of the Iron Pokemon. Yeah. Like, I have Iron Valent in my team, and that's a Paradox Pokemon. Mm-hmm. So if you want to avoid spoilers, maybe this is not a good time. <laughs> maybe maybe not. It's definitely not <laughs> ideal. All right. Well, um, let's find someone to raid then. All right. <laughs> that was a good stream. I, I liked I liked seeing familiar faces and happy faces. I liked making I liked making Dorothy happy. That was yeah. That was great. And I liked to I liked to everyone putting googly eyes on various parts of my body. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's find someone to raid. All right, do you have any suggestions today, Sheps? Let's see. Let's see. Danny Dancho. Tonton. We raided Tonton recently, right? I think we did. I th I'm pretty sure we raided Tonton. Oops. Probably, I guess it's been a long time, a long time in between our various streams. So I don't remember super well. I don't remember who we laid it, rated last time, actually, now that I think about it. I haven't raided the Svela in a while. Do you want to raid in the Svela? Sure. All right. You know, do you need her name or do you know it? No, I've got her. I follow her too. Oh. Okay. All right. Svela is a sweetheart. They are currently doing a production stream. They are always trying to make their stream better on Thursdays. And they're currently, I think they're doing, um, they're trying, they're, I guess they are thinking about music for their stream. Could be wrong. Anyway, thanks very much everyone for coming today. I, I had, a, I had so much fun and, uh, anything you want to, anything you want to, uh, shamelessly promote. Gotcha. Today? So, uh, real quick, tomorrow, 8.30 p.m. Central Time, uh, more Tales of Arise. Uh, next week, I should be back my usual schedule, so 8.30 p.m. Central Time across the board with Tales of Arise on Wednesday and Friday, more Valhalla on Thursday, and then uh, we're starting Arc Nights on Tuesday. All right. So uh, this, was, this is Tiberius, so go ahead. If you haven't followed them already, go ahead and follow them. And uh, yeah, sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. Indeed. All right, everyone. Uh, I told you to do squats today. I hope you did them. But if you haven't, do some sit-ups. Do some sit-ups now. I want you to do some sit-ups. You do ten sit-ups. You can't do ten. Do five. Make sure that those abs get crunched today. All right. <laughs> Raid's going out. Love you all. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I will. Chef's his dream. And Goodbye. So, as for myself. I hope you have all had a, eh, or, yeah, thank you all for, eh, let's take that again. Thank you all very much for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night, and I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. Uh, also, the customary raid messages, as always, we have arrived. There we go. Raid.